Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how we can handle our exception in the application level or globally using our ASP.NET Core 7.0 Web API. I have already created a video how to handle exception globally on ASP.NET Core 6.0. If you want to visit that one, I will give the video description in link on video description as well as the I button. Please check it out. Guys, before starting the session, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. And if you ended up liking my videos, give me a like so that YouTube will know and it will promote to other viewers. Let's get started. Exception handling. An exception is a problem arise during the execution of a program. A C sharp exception is the response to an exceptional circumstances that arise while program is running, such as attempt to divide it by a zero. It will be infinite. An exception provides a way to transfer control from one part of a program to another. C sharp exception handling is built in upon four keywords try, catch, finally, and throw. We are going to use this key, this keyword also. And there is the huge exception handler middleware is built in middleware in .NET Core that can use to handle exception with the I exception handle feature. Okay, so let's see how we can use try catch finally and throw and how we can use exception handler and I exception handler feature. For that, I am today I am using Visual Studio 2022 or 2022 to create a new project and I will be creating a ASP.NET Core Web API and I am giving let's say global exception handle guys okay now let's click on create Uh, for now, I know need HTTPS. For now, I know need of open API or, or Swagger support. Let's create. Guys, this will be just five to six line of code to modify your complete application. If you are on .NET Core 6.0, if you are running on .NET Core 5.0, if you are running .NET Core 7.0, this five to six line of code can manage your exception completely or complete application globally. So our application got run. So here you can see in the controller section weather forecast controller is created. So this is the get API. If I am running the application now, this get API will hit and it will generate me a random five days record for the weather forecast as it is the template is working. Let's run the application. It will take few seconds because we are running the first time. Guys, I have one request and don't get mind on this. Uh, please don't skip the ads. And uh, recently I'm getting started money. Please don't skip, please. Okay, so this is my web API. I'm getting a the five days random record. For now, let's say I am adding a throw exception. Okay, throw new exception. Here I am adding. Okay, user defined exception here. No need of this line now. Let's comment it now for now. Let's run the application. So we are giving throw new exception, user defined exception here. So a valid message can we can give, right? So you can see by running this one, it is going getting throwing. Just click on continue and we will see an error. Right, a big error. So we are if we are giving the, the API to third party, and we are showing this kind of big error, and sometimes there are database table name, sometimes the column name, and sometimes different other entities data. It is bad, right? But if we are going with try catch, let's say we are going with like now here, 
like okay, edge so we will handle our exception here with okay now let's run continue again we have to see this kind of big message and we have to write try catch to our complete all the api let's say we have 100 of api we have thousands of api we have to write try catch to all the api what if we can do in a single line of code or just a single code stop the application for now i no need of try catch now okay save it now open our program.cs file after up builder.build here we can configure our pipeline how we can configure our pipeline up dot use exception handler right inside this we can write options it extend to inside that option dot run inside this we can write like this async context context response status code it will be internal server error and it will be the feature will be access feature i exception handler feature and ever dot concept write async exception with the var x error dot message now let's run the application and we will see how the error is coming continue you can see no extra data simple user defined error message came here so in this way we can handle our exception globally through our program.cs file using huge exception handler by built-in pipeline by .NET Core. Guys, I hope you like this session. If you do, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.